world ended tomorrow, it would be an absolute tragedy for my son. He has such an exciting, interesting life to look forward to. And for him not to be able to have that life would be absolutely tragic. And so if it means that the world is a little bit less exciting and we have to slow down the pace of progress, you know, to ensure safety, then I think that's absolutely worth it. And, you know, I almost think that there need to be some more parents on the AI risk boards, right? I mean, a guy like Sam Altman, his whole life is just about this technology and this programming. And I genuinely don't think he cares about what happens to humanity. I, I mean, he says he does, but they're platitudes. You can say when he's talking about the yeah. future, he's excited. When he talks about safety and humanities, eh, I mean, you can hear it in his voice. I think we need more parents, more older people, more women, you know, people who are a little bit uh, less move fast and break things and a little more hey, this could end the world, so let's uh, let's be circumspect about this. And I don't think there's a lot of that in the industry right now. I would say any kind of P. Doom above about 10% is not acceptable, you know, because okay. I wouldn't go to, uh, um, I wouldn't play Russian roulette. You know, if you handed me a gun and said, shoot it, and you got a one in six shot, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not yep. going to take 18% odds. That's not okay. And if that's what we're doing with uh, AI and robotics, uh, it's not good enough. You know, I need to see less than one. And it's funny, that comes from anesthesia, right? So with our job, if the patient has more than a 1% chance of like dying at any given point, we seriously consider not doing the surgery, right? So- Wow, 1%. One percent. Even 1% is too much. Yeah, I would say I've done- and This is routine surgery anywhere in the country. Like if it's a 1% chance- We can't- It's too it. much. Yeah, 100%. Because think about it. If uh, your hospital does 10,000 surgeries in a year and 100 people die, like or 10, even 10 people die, like- that's not acceptable. You know, those are not. So I yeah. come from a background where zero risk is the only acceptable amount of risk. And then I look at, you know, Sam Altman, who's like, ah, I don't, you know, humanity's fine. But, you know, if we're replaced by uh, a smarter AI, that's OK. When people go to the doctor, they never change their behavior. So if you go to your primary care, you just had a heart attack and he tells you, hey, John, um, your heart's not in great shape. The good news is if you change your diet and exercise, you might live another 20 years. But if you don't, you'd be lucky to get five years, right? You would think most people would say, wow, uh, I've got grandkids. I love my life. Um, I'm going to change my diet and exercise. Nobody does. 99% of people essentially choose to die. You know, these are not crazy people. They're <clears throat> sane. They love their life. They're not depressed. Why is this happening? And it's the power of denial, right? So when something is so terrible that you can't contemplate the possibility of it, we tend to just ignore it and not consider it as a possibility. Um, it's the reason we engage in nuclear brinksmanship. You know, it's the reason we are at war with other nuclear powers. We go, it's fine. We'll just, you know, harass them and all that. And it's like, no, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not risk nuclear annihilation. But nobody thinks of that as a possibility because it's so terrible that we ignore it. So whether it's our own personal health where I might die, if you tell me as a doctor you're going to die, it's a very healthy human defense mechanism to ignore that and to not pay attention to it. What do you think our P doom is in 50 years? In 50 years, 98%. That's 99%. Yeah. <laughs> That's very concerning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and 50 years is a really long time. I would, if you yeah. said uh, 20 years, I would say maybe 75% doom, 25% uh, hope. But I think at 50 years, it gets really, really hard to imagine how we stay in control. Someone, um, I forget what it was, right? Someone was like, yeah, you know, it's, we're like two squirrels talking about like what humans could do to us. Like, yeah, we have no fucking idea what humans could do to us. We know that like we're alive one minute, we're dead the next minute. We have no idea that the 20 million things that humans could do to squirrels.